Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. IRS Independent Office of Appeals Priorities for 2023 focus on taxpayer service. Oh great. Improved taxpayer service from the IRS? Honestly, like I can only assume that that means the IRS is like upgrading to the finest quality handcrafted leather whips and muzzles. They're like, hey, you think paying $10,000 for a hammer is bad? Wait until you see how much we spend on a whip. Also, the IRS hasn't invested in a good rack for some time, resorting to the crude method of stretching people, putting ropes around wrists and ankles and using horses to pull them apart. I mean, what are we, in the dark ages? Exclaim the progressives. With technology these days, the government should be able to stretch thousands of people, like at the push of a button. Anyways, first a joke. Kids are so far behind in school due to COVID absence. It's ridiculous. I mean, my poor kid is so far behind, he thinks H2O is some kind of hip hop star. If there is some mental health foundation that raises money for people like you, please be sure to let me know. Last word, freak. Bye-bye. I mean, honestly, he's forgotten so much about school. When I told him we're going to have P.E. time in the backyard, he went and took a piss on a tree. Factory. That's a laugh. <laughs> Due to COVID absence from school, my poor kid's so dumb. He thinks cloth masks stop the transmission of COVID. I got a real great compliment for you, and it's true. I'm so afraid you're about to say something awful. Don't be pessimistic. It's not your style. Oh, wait. He learned that nonsense in school. Well, that's great. Now I'm not even sure if I want him going back at all. You're going to regret this the rest of your life. Both seconds of it. Right. Don't worry, kids, if you're behind, though. Don't worry, kids. Sideshow Mel will be fine. I, too, was an exceptionally stupid child. He has an air bubble. It's all carbon dioxide now. You've got time to wise up, or at least become comfortably content. Uh, this is the last time I buy a trick from a magician's widow. Although I wouldn't trust the school system to get you there. Accountinginstruction.net, that's the ticket. You are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morale. And you can get on this school bus without a mask. Just a Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Although we still do ask you to cover your mouth when you sneeze. Your repeated violation of the verbal morality statute has caused me to please <laughs> remain where you are for your own <laughs> Because sneezing on people's gross it's a fast too ir 2022-195 november 4 2022 washington today the irs independent office of appeals released its focus guide there's a link to that here for fiscal year 2023 appeals is taking important steps to expand communications with external stakeholders and to improve taxpayer access to appeals promoting transparency and taxpayer access helps appeals fulfill its mission to resolve tax disputes in a fair and impartial manner without the need for litigation. So when we think about our income tax system, we have a self-reporting system for individual taxes we typically report using the Form 1040. However, of course, the IRS already has a lot of information related to our taxes, mainly from people that are paying us, like the employer and financial institutions that might be giving 1099s related to dividends and interest, the employers giving them the W-2s, for example. So the IRS might then argue, they might take a position that is different than what you have reported on the tax return for whatever reason. If that happens, then they're gonna say, hey, we're gonna take a different position. And, and then you can argue back against that and say, no, I think the position I took was correct. Now, obviously some things are not gonna go too far because the basis on arguing back has to be in the current tax law. So the tax law is going to be the thing to drive whether or not the reporting position was correct or not. So if you say, no, I didn't, I'm going to report something different than what was on the W-2 and the W-2 was accurate, then it seems difficult that you would win 
uh, an appeals kind of process in that case. However, if there's some kind of position that you think is accurate within the tax law that the IRS is saying they're taking a separate position, then you can argue against them. Of course, that, that appeals process is really important to keep things uh, transparent and fair but it can also uh, expand into like a costly time consuming process as well and that's that's the kind of stuff that we got to balance between uh, and making sure that that availability is there for people so in any case that's my general overview in any ways so the focus guide outlines the taxpayer service initiatives you can expect over the coming year including increasing tax uh, tax holder outreach including to historically uh, marginalized and limited English proficient communities about the appeals process. So clearly, if we're gonna have a self-reporting system and the capacity to argue back and say, no, look, I, I think the position I took was fair in alignment with the law, people have to be aware of how that system is going to work and operate so that the system can operate properly. Improving access to in-person and video conferencing conferences and revise, uh, re revising letters. So there's links to that here for the video conferences, which of course is becoming more and more uh, used these days. It's a more convenient method for people to be able to get that kind of access as opposed to live uh, in-person kind of communication. Uh, and then the revising the letters to try to make the letters so that people can uh, understand them as best as possible so they know the steps that are available to them. And notices to ensure taxpayers understand uh, that it is generally their choice how to meet with appeals. So leveraging technology to improve how appeals works and manages its cases, uh, continuing the practitioner perspectives series in which tax practitioners share insights and feedback with appeals employees, recording of prior panel discussions on collection appeals. There's a link to that here and examination appeals. There's a link to that here are available. Developing training for appeals employees and enhancing customer engagement. Quote, we are excited to share appeals 2023 priorities, end quote, said Andy Kiso, chief of appeals, quote, we will keep doing all we can to promote a positive experience for taxpayers and practitioners while building up our past accomplishments and applying lessons we learned from the challenges posed by COVID-19, end quote. A key success in 2022 is how appeals addressed a significant increase in cases referred for settlement after the taxpayer filed a petition in the United States tax court. Many of these cases involved taxpayers without legal representation and resulted from communication challenges and difficulties in obtaining and sharing documents during the pandemic. So obviously you would think there would be a tip up, tick up and this kind of stuff during the pandemic because one, people's tax situations are gonna change, and two, you had significant changes to the tax code uh, that people, that's obviously gonna confuse people, and e even just implementing those changes in the tax code was confusing. The law, of course, when you're doing something completely new to a system that's designed not to change that rapidly, you know, you, you're gonna end up with issues, you would think. So to avoid further delays, appeals prioritized these uh, docketed cases and dedicated additional resources to properly resolve them. Appeals shared guidelines. There's a link to that here for how employees would streamline their approach to these cases with the public in um, April 2022. Under these guidelines, appeals attempted to reach affected taxpayers by telephone shortly after receiving the cases. In, ad in addition, Appeals considered specific dollar settlements, ex expedited tax comp uh, computation, and streamlined internal documentation for proposed settlements. As always, <clears throat> appeals officers applied their professional judgment, including to accept oral testimony where appropriate to settle the cases efficiently. Using this approach, appeals resolved all 7,500 docketed cases pending when the initiative began. To achieve permanent improvements to the taxpayer experience, the IRS is working to increase the number of cases resolved at the earliest stage possible before a dispute arises. Quote, Ensuring that taxpayers and practitioners are satisfied with the appeals process is an ongoing goal for us, end quote, said Shaharid uh, Beber. I, I completely probably butchered that name. But anyway, she's the acting deputy chief of appeals, quote, 
The 2023 Focus Guide is a way to share with the public and with employees our ideas for continually improving how appeals resolve tax disputes, end quote. So there's links to that stuff here. There'll be a link to this in the description.